to Everyday in Brussels on YouTube channel. My name is Chelsea and I am going to make a version of some vegan cheddar cheese sauce that I make for my family. Usually I prep cook this almost every week because we use it on mac and cheese, nachos. Tonight I'm going to do it on some steamed cauliflower and bake it in the oven. It's kind of like a casserole. So, the, so let's get started. <laughs> the first couple ingredients, I just add these to a pot of water. It is um, just a handful, I would say about five um, florets of cauliflower, <clears throat> a fourth of a cup of raw cashews. I usually use the unsalted and unroasted. They just give it a more of a neutral creamy flavor instead of kind of like a sweeter flavor. I feel like roasted, that's a little sweeter. Uh, one cup of peeled and diced up just russet potato, white potato, whatever kind of potatoes you have. Half a cup of diced up carrots. And I just boil this on the stove till all of the veggies are tender um, and then strain it and we'll add it to our, sorry, my baby is entertaining himself. Um, and then I'll add it to my Vitamix blender and I will show you the rest of the ingredients while this is cooking. Okay, so I went ahead and dumped the veggies and cashews in the blender and I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients. I have a quarter of a cup of Coconut milk, just because that's what we use in our family for our non-dairy milk. Two teaspoons of lemon juice. Three pickled jalapenos and one tablespoon of their liquid. Uh, a tablespoon of nutritional yeast flakes. One teaspoon of garlic powder, onion powder, and tapioca flour. And then half a teaspoon of salt and an eighth of a teaspoon of ground pepper. And for the last ingredient, a tablespoon of tomato paste. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just put that on my blender. You can do this with the, uh, I'm not using a high speed blender, but it does make it a little more, uh, it, you just have to blend it a little bit more, which is fine. Obviously, you work with what you got, so. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and grab my tamper. All right, I am gonna go ahead and turn it on. Oh. And anyways, you just blend it up and it starts forming. And then after this, we're gonna throw it back on the stove for a few more minutes. Um, so I'll go ahead and do this and then I'll show you what it looks like after the stage. Okay, so I went ahead and blended it up and that is what it looks like, very cheesy looking. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw it back in the pan and cook it just for a few more minutes and then I'll show you the consistency. It does have a little bit of a stretchy consistency. Um, kind of like traditional cheese, but it has very nacho cheesy flavor. All right, thank you guys so much for staying with me through making this recipe. I hope you guys enjoy it. My family really enjoys this nacho cheese and just cheese sauce recipe. Like I said, I'm usually making it about once a week and put it on all sorts of different foods like mac and cheese, chips, seven layer dip, that type of thing. And I also just store it in a squeeze bottle so we can put it on whatever we like, broccoli, so I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, morning, whatever time of day it is. And if you could like and subscribe and comment on this video. Sorry, we have a bulldozer running through our house right now. Um, anyways, yeah, like, subscribe, and comment. Um, if you guys have a favorite nacho cheese sauce that you make or if you have some staples that you like to make um, to keep your family stocked for the week. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs>